So let's get started. I'm going to show you how fun this is. So normally you're probably going to be using newspaper, probably because your parents have a lot lying around, and also because if you pull all the newspaper pages apart, they're going to be in pretty much the right shape, similar shape to this, a rectangle with long edges and short edges. Okay, And also because newspaper is biodegradable. Again, that means that when you put the potting soil and the plant in there, the plant starts getting old enough, big enough that you want to put it into the garden, this paper, the newspaper, is going to break down in the soil and it's going to break down without hurting any plants or animals. Newspaper inks nowadays don't have any sort of toxins that are harmful to nature. But I'm just going to be using nice big grid paper just to really show you how everything's getting folded. Okay, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, I'm always making sure the long edges are in front of me and across from me and the short edges are on either side of me, to my left and to my right. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the short edges together, the edges that are farthest apart from one another. Okay, like that. Okay, again, I'm going to have the long edges in front of me and across from me and the short edges to my left and to my right. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to move the short edges, fold them together, the edges that are farthest apart from one another. I'm going to press down nice and hard with my finger to make sure it's getting nice and tight folded every single time. Okay? Again, one more time. Third time, we're going to have the long edges towards us and across from us, short edges to the left and right. I'm going to fold the short edges together, okay, like that. Okay, we've done that once, twice, three times. Now, we're going to undo the third fold, okay? We did that third fold so that we can have this nice crease in the middle, and you're going to find out why right now. Okay, we're going to move the loose part, the unfolded part, towards me, the bottom. So the folded part is on the top. Okay, we've got that crease right in the middle. So this part is a little bit strange, so watch very closely and get your parents to help you if you find this confusing. I'm going to, I like to put my finger at the top of the crease here, okay, just to hold that in place. I'm going to find the V, okay. So this fold here, this V-shaped fold here, I'm going to bring this corner across to this corner here. See what I'm doing? I'm holding this down with my finger, bringing this across to this corner, okay? And now, if I bring this down, it turns into kind of the roof of a house. It turns into a triangle. You want to see that one more time? I'll show you one more time. Okay, finger here, bringing this corner across, down in, against the other corner, like that. And when we bring that down, you can see my hand pushing, bring that down, we've got the roof of a house. Okay, like that. I'm going to make sure everything is nice and tightly folded. Okay, now we're going to do that one more time on the other side. Watch. So, same thing. I'm going to have my finger in the top middle. I'm going to find that fold. See that fold there, the V shape? I'm going to bring the bottom across like this to the other corner. Okay, and when this comes down, it turns into the roof of a house. Okay, like that. So now we've got something that looks sort of like this. It's a bit of a house and it's got the four corners on the bottom. It kind of makes an X shape. Okay, like so. Now what we're going to do is these two edges are folded over. We're going to bring them back across so that this is not folded anymore. See, it's nice and flat now. 
it was originally here. Now we're going to bring it back across. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, bring this corner back across like that. Okay, there. So now we've got kind of a flat house with no folds in it. If you look at the bottom, it kind of has four wings. It's kind of like a spaceship with four wings. Maybe it looks a bit like an X-wing from Star Wars. Okay, what we're going to do with our X-wing is we're going to take all four wings, so this edge here, we're going to bring that edge to the middle. So we're going to fold it over so that the edge is right in line with the middle crease. And we're going to fold that like so. Now I'm going to do that for all four edges. Okay, see this edge here? I'm going to bring that across like so. Okay, and then the other two. Again, this edge here, across. And finally, the last one. Like that. So they're all coming in and meeting each other right in this middle crease here. Okay, like that. Now that's what it looks like. Kind of looks like it's giving a hug. Now, we're going to do that one more time. Exactly the same thing. We're going to take that outer edge, like this, and fold it into the middle. Okay, second one. Okay, third one. And fourth one. Like that. And we're very nearly there because you can even right now, if you wanted to, put something. You can see there's a bottom there. You could even put something in there right now. But we're going to do one more thing to make this a real box. You can see we've got the two flaps still left, like that. We're going to just fold the flaps down, like this. Okay, and then the other flap, like that, just folds down, opposite sides of one another, folding away from each other. Okay, almost there. Now look. I'll put my hand in there like that. Look at that. Almost got our box. The last thing I'm going to do, we want to make the bottom of our box nice and flat. So I'm going to hold these with my hands, these two flaps nice and tightly, and I'm just going to work this around with my hands like this. Just like smooth out the bottom of the box. And I can even, what I can do, again, so long as I'm holding the top edges, I can even pinch the bottom corners to make a really nice box. And voila, there we go. See how nicely that sets? Wasn't that cool? So now we're going to put some soil in here and a little seed, and this can grow in a windowsill or anywhere else with sunlight. Eventually that seed's going to get big enough and we can plant this in the garden.